Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today it's nearly October, well it is October, it's the 1st of October. It's seriously autumny. The weather is getting lovely and crisp and cold and the leaves are so lovely looking, all crisp and brown and orange. I just love this time of year. And if you follow me at Instagram, Ingy Mum Love, double M, no A at the end, um, you'll know that I do my chutneys and my jams and I get all festive now and I have to start prepping September ready for Christmas presents because that's what I normally give all my friends and family. They get from hampers to hot chocolate stirrers, chutneys, alcohol, you name it, I love doing it and it's such a good thing for me to do because it's lovely to do it in the home whilst child caring for the kids and also it's it's cheap and it needs to be done this time of year because I don't want to be rushing around supermarkets and all different stores getting things like expensive smellies and all things like that that I can't afford so I do shop a lot in the January sale for toys and things for my kid you know my friends that have got kids I get a lot in the next and Marks and Spencer's sale for clothes for again my friends children and then you know, when the little kids don't get clothes and toys, the adults get foodie gifts. And I don't think there's nothing better than get, receiving a lovely box of chocolates or a nice jam to go on your toast. Oh, I just love foodie gifts. So that's what I'm up to. And obviously child caring for my beautiful rainbow baby. So I'm in the van. Oh God. Wow. Here she is. She's awake. Hello. Say hi. Oh, she's so adorable. I just fall in love every day with her, every minute. It's not as sunny in the back. Oh, I'm sat on some jelly beans. We've just nipped off to a place like a hardware store called B&Q in the UK just to get these wipes. Not very environmentally friendly, I'm afraid, but I need them to wipe down all my countertops before I prep food. And, oh my God, that one's leaking. And my husband uses them for cleaning when he's finished cod plumbing but they're absolutely brilliant they're so much better than like your usual standard wipes so we went to a hardware store to get those and he's just gone into our supermarket because I'm making the chutney and I've suddenly thought I need my brown sugar and onions because that is the base the brown sugar and the vinegar if you make chutneys you'll know already but brown sugar vinegar and then you put all your spices in let it amalgamate and then add all anything from your cupboard so literally in my fridge I've got onions chilies garlics you name it it'll all go in bubble up and then put in sterile jars and then just lump it on some crackers with cheese oh my god it's so nice anyway yeah so i'm obviously waiting for them to come out of the supermarket so i thought i'd give you a little update um i'm feeling okay i'm up with her quite a lot in the night at the moment i think she's getting hungrier like three times a night she feeds now she'll feed for about 10 minutes and then happily go off to sleep a lot of the time on the third feed when it's about three in the morning i am plum tuckered so i literally fall asleep with her on me so quite often i wake up at like six o'clock and she's next to me in bed but we don't mind do we we don't mind she is so super smiley and i absolutely love the outfit she's got on oh my god my little five-year-old had it i don't think you can see it actually can you see it it's made by a little company called little bird they used to have their own little section in mother care in the uk and then mother care closed down so now next do it but it was bought by my husband for my my fifth baby and it's a six to nine month outfit, so it's a little bit big because she's in three to six months, but I've just put a pair of tights on and a vest with it because it's not too cold that she can't wear the little shorts, but yeah, we need thick tights. So I've just spruced up her little drawer. I've literally, she's got two drawers under my bed. One drawer is just full of like bedding and blankets and things like that. And then the other one is all her clothes. So I've now sieved out all the naught to three month clothes and, um, put in all her three to six and six to nine. Six to nine, I don't think she's gonna be in until like December onwards, but that's fine. I just need to get her maybe a few more pairs of tights and some frilly knickers to just go over. You know, when you've got like tights and a pretty dress, it just makes it look a little bit more, um, a little bit more feminine I think with a frilly pair of bottoms so I might get some of those but I don't want to go too mad I bought down all the stuff from the loft that was up to 9 to 12 months but I've put back up 9 to 12 and 12 to 18 because it's just not big enough our house to have 
loads of clothes everywhere so I just wanted her current selection to take me up to like December and then I'll in the new year put all of that into charity or eBay what is really good and then yeah I'll, I'm literally sieving out stuff I'm being really good I've already got rid of a bag of baby grows all my early baby new baby tiny baby baby grows they went in the charity box down the road because they'd done like literally all five of my babies well six of my babies and then the boy stuff all I've kept is two little cardigans which are relative knitted Aaron's nanny which I don't want to part with and they've got their christening outfits the boys all had a linen suit the same suit from a place called monsoon um and all three of my boys have worn it so I've kept the christening outfit and two little cardies and that's all I've kept for memories so I've been really good as in yes I've got rid of two carrier bag of clothes now and I've also eBayed a couple of like naught to three girly things that I'm not going to use but are too good to sort of put in charity because she's literally only worn them once so I do know that that's going to be my last baby because I've never ever been able to do that before I've never been able to get rid of baby clothes, but I seriously feel so complete. Having three boys, three girls, it's magical. So lucky beyond belief, so blessed. That three year journey, well two years, seven months, was heartache, no end. But I told you I'd be content. I knew I'd be content having a boy or a girl, I didn't mind, but a girl was the icing on the cake because it just means that it she slots in perfectly with the bunk bed in the third room and you know all the clothes I had I always had a name in my head for a girl and not so much a boy everything worked out perfectly but a boy would have been absolutely amazing as well but I just feel complete I am going to start weaning in about a month I didn't with my others till they were seven to eight months but I'm going to start her a little bit early because I don't want to wake him three times a night that to me says she's not um, getting enough food or she's hungrier and she is a bit bigger than the other babies so she literally feeds on me every two hours in the day and then like I say at night three times so what I'm I did ask the health visitor can I give a little bit of porridge and she said don't yet because she's only five months try and hold out for another month and if you are gonna wean keep it to fruit and vegetables so when my others were seven eight months I used to do a rusk or rice porridge rice with breast milk and then in the afternoon i'd do like a bit of pureed banana or a bit of broccoli or something like that three or four flavors for her to try or him to try and then in the evening i'd do like a little fromage fray and then like maybe some whizzed up sweet potato or something and then i sort of go on to meat some more textures like when they get to about eight or nine months so at Christmas, I'm really hoping, she'll be eight months, I'm hoping I can maybe try a little bit of whizzed up turkey with a bit of carrot or something like that. But I'm gonna try and start her on some fruit and vegetables in about four weeks time. I'm not gonna rush it. I was gonna do it at five months, but the weaning age in the UK has changed again. It went six months, then it went don't wean till four months, and then it went back to six months and it's gone, stayed at six months. So there was a time when I had my fourth born, they said you can wean at four months, and I always thought that's seriously too early. I don't care, I think that's a bit early. Their little tummies have not really developed, and if you think they're the size of a walnut, so they don't need a lot, and you think they're so delicate at this age, you've really got to nurture them. So six months in my head would be the earliest I would wean, but I just wanted to look into it now. So yeah, she's five months, five months, two weeks, and she's doing really well. She's thriving like anything, teething like anything. There's no points, I can't see any teeth popping through yet, but there's definitely hard gum there and loads of drool. We're getting through two or three changes of clothes just from drool loads of soiled nappies loads of wet nappies so she is getting a lot from me but it's just not enough so in a few weeks time i will be doing probably i'll do a video i think um a little vlog because i'm going to do some pureed broccoli some carrots some sweet potato um and probably oh what else will we do maybe pear and apple and then put it in ice cube trays bung it in the freezer then label all the food bags and all i'll be doing is trying her one flavor at a time for the first month then we'll start combining at about six seven months and like i say eight nine months is when i do textures a bit more a bit more like cheesy bakes and you know combined flavors but let's just get us started first i think at breast milk and rice then yeah then we'll go from there but i think now's the time so yeah the next four weeks that's what i'll be doing and then I'll let you know how I go with that. But washable nappies are still going good, but I do use disposables on the days that I can't do washing. So we're probably using disposables once every fortnight maybe. 
Um, not very often. Like if I buy a pack, I've bought probably three packs of disposables since I've had her and I've still got quite a few left. I bought a little pack when I went on holiday five weeks ago and I bought another pack two weeks ago and I've still got loads left. But like at night, if she's had a full on day with the feeding, I put a disposable on her and I just think a disposable is a little bit more hardy than two or three fleeces. But yeah, the fabric ones are still fine doing those they're working out well but everything's going all right I'm I'm tired but that's just for the waking up but really content and super happy and yeah loving life and we're getting to that stage now where it's harvest festival at our school so we've got all of that my 10 year old's looking into what school he's going to be going to so we're doing we've got our you know it's quite busy in our life with that at the moment and obviously the cost of everything's going through the roof so we are sort of trying to juggle things at the moment i'm doing a lot of tray bakes at home like you know i'm doing curries lasagnas stews things like that that feed everybody i can't do what i used to do which was what would you like oh i don't want beef stew and dumplings can i have pizza and salad i can't do that now it is basically i'm cooking chicken korma rice papa dom's naan bread and Indian salad you either pick what you like off the table or you have to go without or, and have a bowl of cereal that's what we're doing so a lot of the time my kids if it's curry I keep it very mild very simple and they just pick and choose what they like I can't be doing different dinners anyway love to all friendship tour let me know where you are in your journey and yeah hi to everybody I'll see you later bye hi guys welcome back to the channel i did film last week but i didn't upload because i thought i'd tag this on um, i'm ingrid as you know you've just heard the first bit of my vlog which was last week i thought i'd give you an update i'm pretty emotional guys um i've been emotional anyway since i've had the baby definitely it's changed my whole perspective having six babies it's ha it's quite hectic it's happy i'm content I just feel so content and blessed with all the children. It is unbelievable. But I'm super emotional because of Tanika. I don't know if you watch her, Simply Tanika. She's been on a journey for like, I think four years. I've been watching her for three plus years. And she's been having IVF, donor eggs. And oh my goodness, I've missed the last like two months of vlogs because I've been so hectic. But I follow her on Instagram and it was like, oh my God, she's had a positive beta reading and a positive test after a really huge long journey. If you haven't watched, flick over to her channel. And this is totally amazing. Bless her heart. She's got an older daughter in her 20s. This is a journey that she's been pursuing for so long and so hard and it just gives you hope. If I give you hope after two years, seven months of losses, she will give you such hope if you are at an age where your eggs aren't great and you've had to indulge in IVF. This, well I won't say indulge, that isn't a good word to use. If you've had to use IVF as a route to get your baby, she's done everything and time was ticking. She's, you know, she was, never going to give up she had her faith in god her faith in the medical service and she has gone and got a positive test i've been catching up on her vlogs i've just quickly binge watched two um her beta reading i like she got a positive pregnancy test that kept getting stronger and stronger she went for her first beta reading of 600 plus i won't do too many spoilers but she just had her second one and it's so so good it looks like the baby's sticking and i'm so happy for you tanika I know you follow me on Instagram, I do follow you on Instagram and I've just caught up on your vlogs and honestly, um, I will be praying that that baby sticks you of anybody deserves it. Going on to my journey, okay, so we've got my friend also on here on Instagram, Louisa, or Louise I think, she's due her 10th baby anytime now, I'm so excited for you, I think you're a few weeks off. Um, and there's lots of shout outs there's so many of you having beautiful babies out there casey on instagram i know you're pregnant congratulations darling rainbows do happen i just wanted to say things are going great i think the baby girl is getting massive literally three to six month clothes and she's only six months on wednesday um, she's filling out her clothes so beautifully, but I met up with Katrina who's got a baby girl that she had a month before I had mine. And literally, my baby is so much bigger. 
it's she's all breastfed i mean i haven't even started weaning solid yet she's not even tried anything yet but she is loving the boob my boobs are bloody huge but i'm grateful to god they're working i'm eating three meals a day snacking on plenty and the milk's there she's getting a little bit like at night now where she's waking two to three times a night for a feed so she is getting hungrier that's telling me she definitely needs weaning so i am going to start soon i've got an order of groceries coming today um i have ordered sweet potatoes carrots broccoli really standard things that i order anyway but i am going to do i don't know whether i mentioned this on the vlog that you've just watched but i am going to do i'm going to start off you shouldn't really start with sweet things breast milk's quite sweet anyway but you should really start with quite bland flavours such as broccoli. Just get them used to that before you start going with the sweet potato and the banana and things. However, because it's my sixth baby and, you know, I've done it all these ways around. I've done the first three. I did really, really runny purees because I was so scared of choking. And then when it came to actually go into the next stage at eight or nine months, I started weaning them at like seven months. When it got to like eight months, and I started doing slightly lumpier, they really gagged a lot. So I thought I might do what I did with my fourth and fifth, a slightly coarser puree to start with. Um, I'll see how I go. I was gonna do like blended, but a little bit of texture there. Maybe do broccoli, carrot, then go on to sweet potato, then banana, and then I'll see how I go. But normally you do individual flavors first, if you don't know, and then you start blending after about three or four weeks. I normally do two weeks of singular and then on the third week I start like blending a broccoli and a carrot together then maybe a sweet potato the one that I absolutely love after about a month of weaning is the avocado and banana my kids have all loved that but my second born who's now nearly 15 she cannot stand bananas she will not even look at a banana and she said I don't know what you did to me when I was younger well to be fair bananas and raisins used to be her like treat when she was very young because it's quite sweet before we started going down the route of actual sweets and chocolate she used to always have either a pack of raisins or a banana as like a sweet treat as well as her fromage phrase and to this day she hates fromage phrase she hates raisins and she hates bananas so when i got to my fourth or fifth i tried to really go a little bit like you know different and not so much the samey it was just a safe thing whenever we were out i knew what would keep her quiet is either cut up banana a little box of raisins or have a little fromage fray in my bag and that was like when she was about 11 months old and i did that till she was about 18 months and she absolutely hates all three of those foods to this day so but then I did the same with my firstborn and he loves bananas. But again, he doesn't like raisins. And I used to only give my children raisins as their treats. The first two hardly ever got sweets unless it was Easter, Christmas, birthdays, parties. I used to do like either a little bit of cake or a banana or raisins. I think I was so much more careful. And then I got a little bit more relaxed with the third. Anyway, going on to the purees, I will do pure very very puree for about a week but then i'm going to go coarser on about two weeks just to get her used to it because i get really really worried about choking even though i think i'd be i think i know what to do you know you pat between the shoulder blades really you know hard to get the thing out you feel in the mouth and if that doesn't work go in and up in and up i know that's what i need to do oops i've got to hurry up my batteries run out i know that's what i need to do sort of to to if someone was choking but I do get super scared of giving like things like breadsticks and toast and things and I'll be honest with you I don't usually do things like that till they get to 14 months plus I don't do any raw hard veg I always do it soft boiled or steamed I just do so when the baby gets to about a year old I'll be doing soft sort of boiled carrots that are still got a little bit of munch in them but not too much um rusky biscuits that dissolve things like that i'm not too good with really hard uh, 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 things i'm just not and that's never gone away but we did have an incident where we had two cases of choking when my first two were born and they sadly passed and it really did shock me one choked on toast one choked on chopped up sausage and it really affected me from that day onwards so i'm super careful but saying that i am going to do coarser puree because i did that with my fourth and fifth and they didn't gag as much when it came to having soft boiled fruit and veg and then obviously when we get to a year old i can start getting a bit more relaxed and like i say soft boiled and then by the time they're like 15 16 months hopefully they'll be on normal finger foods but usually at a year then i start doing the organics crispies and things like that and make it a bit more exciting and i love doing 
oops, I'm gonna have to really hurry. Um, and then I start doing things like little boxes of Cheerios and little things like that as snacks. Like cereal is such a good snack to put in a tub. Really cheap, really easy, quite healthy. And it sounds like a treat because like little shreddies and hoops and things like that are a little bit sweet. So yeah, that's the idea I've got coming up with her because she is a really full on lovely sized baby. But I'm getting pretty knackered now with the feeding side. I still want to feed, but I'd like it if it was just three or four times a day. I've literally got my boob out every two hours. So I want to try and cut that down to maybe three or four times a day if I can. It'd be nice if I fed her at night and only once in the night. Anyhow, all's going well. Love you all. Friendship and love to all. Please, please join me on Instagram if you haven't already. Please follow Tanika. Like I said, it gives you hope if you've not yet fallen pregnant. Let me know where you are on your journey. Big shout out and love to everyone. And don't forget to thumbs up the video. Love you loads. Bye.